Jesus did not die as a substitute offering. Reading from Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 20, the soul that is sinning, it itself will die. A son himself will bear nothing because of the error of the father, and a father himself will bear nothing because of the error of the son. Upon his own self, the very righteousness of the righteous one will come to be, and upon his own self, the very wickedness of a wicked one will will come to be. So Jesus did not die as a substitute offering. Yahweh denied the principle of substitution in Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 20. And this is shown in the offering of Christ. If Jesus died as a substitute, there would be no room for forgiveness. For forgiveness is completely out of place in a debt that has been fully paid. But that forgiveness is required is shown in Romans chapter 3 and verse 25. So Romans chapter 3 and verse 25. God set him forth as an offering for propitiation through faith in his blood. This was in order to show his own righteousness because he was forgiving the sins that occurred in the past while God was exercising forbearance Christ offered for us not instead of us see 1st Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 3 the Gospel of John chapter 10 and verses 15 and 18 Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25 his resurrection was as necessary for justification as his death Romans chapter 4 and verse 25, Romans chapter 8 and verse 34, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 14 to 18. So his resurrection was as necessary for justification as his death, which demonstrates that the substitution doctrine is wrong, for did he rise instead of those who will be saved? The offering of Jesus reveals what is necessary for us to obtain life, to renounce the flesh and live unto God. Christ, having obtained eternal redemption, first for himself and in prospect for us, see Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 12. However, the words for us are not in the original Greek. So Christ, having obtained eternal redemption, first for himself and in prospect for us, in which he has dissolved or nullified the law of condemnation for himself and those who believe and obey him. Thus the redemption from sin's flesh, seen accomplished in the Lord, is also available to his people. Christ is the author of salvation.